Alright, welcome back to Cool 20 Plays Shadow of the Colossus Dune Edition. Um, as promised in our previous episode, we're now going to talk about Colin's RuneScape history. Oh my, oh my oh, god. Oh, wowie. Okay. Yikes. Okay. Your horse landed on your leg. Jeez. Um, so I know you're not really doing anything important right here, so tell us about <laughs> you, uh, your, your days of playing RuneScape. Uh, well, I started when I was 11 years old, mm -hmm. and then I stopped playing full-time <laughs> uh -huh. when I left high school. Sure. Uh, and sad but fun fact. Yes. I calculated the number of hours that I had spent on that game as yeah. a percentage of my life. Yeah. End of high school. Yeah. 4%. Ah. <laughs> now, would that be 4% of your life total or up to that point? Uh, that, wait, what? Like, like, you didn't do it based on, like, the average human lifespan, right? Oh, no, no, no. Okay. percent of my life up to that point. No, that's not as bad. I mean, it's still pretty bad. <laughs> I mean... Hey, look, I died. Hey, look at that. Oh, look, there's your social life. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, what is... <laughs> that's the Colossus that killed you. I didn't realize that they did that. Also, yeah. doesn't this look like a bad rendition from, like, a Game Boy classic? Just like, hey. <laughs> yeah, I'm a scary Muppet. <laughs> Look at me, I'm from a homemade JRPG horror game. It's <laughs> my <laughs> so favorite oh, section man. of the Steam store. <clears throat> um, yeah, whenever you get killed by a Colossus, it shows you the one that killed you being like, oh, what's that? <laughs> what's up, motherfucker? Uh, Bad. Uh, but yeah, RuneScape was, RuneScape was like, it was really fun. Yeah. Um, I really loved the game, and seriously, for like six years, I spent about 300 bucks on all of my entertainment based solely on that game. All, like, all of your entertainment? Pretty much, yeah. Like, I never really bought, you know, new games or anything. I just, I just played RuneScape. So, so, six years? That's Yeah, that's it's not, like that's actually really good. 50 bucks a year? Yeah. I mean, that's like... That's like pretty that's like good. An, that's like an Xbox Gold subscription, basically. Yeah. But and without having to buy any games. So, okay. Uh, I get the feel. Maybe we should move. Uh, okay. Wow. You want to give me a hint on... Uh, uh, yeah, so you're going to want to get on your horse, for um, sure. Okay, why is he not standing up? Well, he broke his femur. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. He's, he's his knees have endured fine. far worse in this game so far. Get on up there. All right. Okay. So, so I ha imagine these rock pillars mean run him into these rock pillars underground? Um, actually, no. Uh, Something like that? I don't think. Uh-oh. Maybe so. There's a scary boy. Scary boys. Maybe that is what you do? Actually, it's been, uh, a, little, it's been a hot minute. Okay, why is he following me? Yeah, because he does that. It's fine. You actually want him to follow you. Um, do you okay. want me to tell you what to do here? Yeah, sure. You're going to need to get out your bow, and you're going to have to pull some sick horse trick shots. Oh, what? Yeah. Okay, yep. that's actually really cool. Yeah, he's going to, once he follows you for a while, he's going to pop his head out, Okay. and uh, you're going to shoot him in the eye. Oh, interesting. Don't stop your horse, though. Uh, he, he stopped himself. Wait, really? Yeah. Well, I guess the Colossus also stopped, so... Yeah, I, if memory serves, that's what you have to do here. It's super red, actually. I think this is one of the cooler... Yeah, it's like a really cool stuff. concept, for yeah. sure. But we know how I am with aiming. <laughs> yes, well, we've seen your... See, okay, yeah, uh, see when uh, his eyes uh. get out like that? You want to shoot him in the eyeball. Okay. Get, if you can just break your spine a little bit. Uh, <laughs> oh, wow! What is ah. this? <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, okay. Uh, how do I aim? Wow, you broke your spine right there. How do I aim like that? Um, I, it's square... You should just be able to. You should just be able to. Oh it normal. right, it's because I'm actually holding uh, L1 to look at the Colossus. Oh wait. Oh wait, that's the thing. Yeah, L1. Yeah, dude. You, oh. you played this game. Oh whoa, whoa, whoa! I don't think I've ever seen him do that. Okay, this is fun. Well, that's probably because you weren't holding L1 when you played it. Oh, that's actually true. I uh, I must have known that. Oh. Unless I was just. Your horse keeps stopping. Yeah, maybe I'm probably like hitting edges or something. Yeah, I'm just not for seeing. sure. Yeah, horses hate it when you edge. <laughs> what? Can I say something? Horse edging! Oh god, don't look horse at my horse edging. Horse edging. <laughs> Please don't look at my hard drives. <laughs> what are we talking about? Okay, oh, RuneScape. RuneScape. Please. Oh, we're going back to that. I, think I don't know. We, I think we milked that one. I don't know. I, it's one of those games where I actually kind of like. I always wanted to play it, but I didn't really have a computer that I could play it on as good. Oh yeah. Well, actually, that was that was one of the reasons I started playing it. Because when I when I started um, in two thousand five, yeah. I had a dial up internet connection. Yeah. Um, and that was like the only game online I could play with a you know twenty eight point eight kilobit per second connection. <laughs> God, is that what it was? <laughs> yeah, I actually got really good at uh, determining when I was getting phone calls too, because you know dial up you you can either be online or on the phone. Sure. Yeah, exactly. And so 
what what would happen is I'd be playing RuneScape and I'd get like a millisecond of lag and I'd be like, okay, phone call incoming, disconnect from the internet, and then oh, immediately yeah. afterward the phone would ring. By the way, you're too far out. Um, oh, can, I need to go. Follow you out. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, you kind of need to be in the central arena. Whoops. So that's a skill that'll be useful in life. Being able to turn off your internet at a moment's <laughs> notice. Well, that is useful when you're looking at, you know, special websites. <laughs> Gotta turn off the internet. Shut and it off. And we're back to this. Shut it down. No, th but this is what you're supposed to be doing. This is good. Turn around and get in the eyeball. Tricks! Trick shots! You got him! Okay, now get. he's gonna flop. He's gonna flop and zoop about. He's gonna ram into the wall, I think? Okay. Yeah, get on over there. Nice. Okay, cutscene. Yep. I know, jump on. You got him. Ah, he's like a, he's like kind of like a, I, you know, I always thought of him like as like a snake, but he's actually more like a flatworm. Um, is someone on his back here? I don't know. Oh, I probably should have checked with my sword where to hit, huh? Nah, that's fine. It'll glow when you get near, probably. I'm assuming it's the head. Well, uh, there's one. I think there's one on his back too. Um, what's the name of that flatworm that can like reproduce forever? Um. You know I know about? what you're talking about, but I actually don't The ones don't in, like, science called. class where we cut them in half and, like... Like earthworms? <laughs> well, oh, man, I used to be so mean to earthworms because I didn't really understand that animals can feel pain. Oh. Anyway, that's a downer story. I, I figured it out, and I was nice to them later, though. Um, um, am I missing something here? I feel like there's a spot on his back, for sure. I should probably pull out my sword and, like, yes. check, huh? Oh, I think you have to have your sword out for it. Oh, uh, you're probably right. That would make right, sense. Let me go back here. No, but you know those, like... Oh, Aha. there we go. You know those tiny little flat black worms that are kind of gross, but they have a thing where like they have like stem cells so they can they can they can create new creatures when they split. What the fuck um, am I thinking of? I think a lot of animals can reproduce actually. Wow. Cool. Thanks. <laughs> thanks. This fighting wow, commentary thanks, about biology I. brought to you God by damn. a non-biology. Uh, let me major. just look around. Am I on the magic school bus? <laughs> Jesus. I don't know. He looks like one of those little flatworms. Flatworms are also like the idea of flatworms kind of grosses me out. Oh man, can I can I beat him in one it? go? No, that Oops. that was it. That was it. Oh, uh, he threw me he off. Must have another one. Argo. Argo, Argo, new horse. New horse. New horse. There he is. Um. Oh, uh, not to do a callback to our last episode, um, when I was talking about Michael Keaton, um, but I had to share this sweet Michael Keaton trivia. This is some of my, some of my favorite movie trivia of all time. Um. So Michael Keaton. Beetlejuice star, as you know if you watched our last episode. <laughs> also, uh, Batman in the Tim Burton Batman films. Because um, I guess Tim Burton liked him so much in Beetlejuice that he wanted to make him Batman. Um, which, by the way, it's fucking crazy that Tim Burton directed two Batman films. Three Batman films? Anyway, the point is... Um, oh, wow. Your character actually, like, like gets up on his horse. Like, he, he doesn't just, like, flip. He actually, like... Oh, little... was he standing? No, he, he kind of, like, did a little, like, he lifted his leg over, I think. Oh, interesting. Um, anyway, so, Batman films, right? And that was, like, the 80s, like, early 80s, something like that. Okay. Um, then, uh, I think two years ago, he did that film Birdman, which is a film about an aging star who played a dark superhero in the 80s. Oh, boy. Trying to make a serious work. <laughs> it's crazy. And um, what's wild is that Michael Keaton apparently wasn't actually um, their first pick for that role. Get him! Ah, oh, you got. God. You can do it. Oh, that's okay. Wasn't there like the first pick for that role? So when they brought him the script, apparently he was like, <clears throat> like angry. Like, are you, are you making fun of me? <laughs> like, are you kidding me with this shit? Because it's exactly his career. Yeah. But oh, man. They, you know they got him on board, and I don't know. Have you seen that movie? No, I haven't. That's a fucking good movie. Because it's it's so it's just a, it's one of those movies where it's like this is a little real. This yeah. is a little more than a little real. Um, good fucking movie. Great soundtrack, too. Anyway, that's my Michael Keaton trivia. I don't know a lot of movie trivia, Welcome but... Welcome back to like, my Michael Keaton trivia. Yeah, seriously. Brought Michael to by Tommy Egger. <laughs> I mean, I know we're fighting like a giant sandworm. Some Ooh, nice. You nice. slammed him in there. All right, go find that other spot. It's probably farther along his back, because you crawled past it without your sword out. You know what I mean? Let's see if I can jump up there. Uh, I, meant, I meant farther back on his back, but sure. <laughs> I was no, gonna see if I could jump onto his back. Super epic, though. Really, just <laughs> wow, stunts. All right, all right. I'm doing, I'm doing my best, Tommy. You're doing great. Um, yeah, I don't know. Obviously, I don't know much about movies since I saw fucking Beetlejuice two years ago. <laughs> and you still haven't seen Jaws or Avatar. Oh, Three right. People Avatar. Yeah, it was in theaters twice. We don't need to talk about that. Everyone knows <laughs> I suck at watching movies. 
I'm also really bad at... I'm just bad at absorbing popular media. Yeah. I guess because, like, my parents were pretty, like, non-mainstream, for lack of a better word. God, where is it's, this I thing? think it's further back, yo. Like, back here? Yeah, because you crawled past that area previously when you didn't have your sword out, and so it didn't glow. So my folks showed me a lot of, like, like art films and stuff, and not even necessarily just art films, but, like, lesser-known movies. So I've, I've, like, had a pretty good, like, cinema upbringing, but... Where's that fucking thing? Probably um, should have checked his whole, uh... His, check. his sitch. But you kind of can't. There it is, uh -huh. there it is, there it is. Um, but I, I never really draw the popular media. Except for video games. Sort of. you're a hipster? I mean, I basically, <laughs> yeah. I got a degree in Japanese language and literature, man. I could talk to you all day about fucking the tale of Genji. Oh, man. Uh, leave a comment if you want to have an episode where I just talk about the first Welcome novel to ever. Welcome talks about uh, Tale Japanese of, literature. Tale of Genji. It's pretty cool. It was the first novel ever. And oh, yeah. You actually have told me about yeah, this. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Oh, wait. You've told me like eight times. Let me tell you about my degree. <laughs> have you heard the good word of Genji? <laughs> Genji wants your soul to be saved. Uh, I have this little pamphlet here. It's uh, 3,000 3, pages Oh, man. Long. Actually, speaking of that, um, yeah. when, I was, when I was going to lunch... Uh, we walked past this group of people that had like pamphlets about, you know, oh, yeah. oh what does the Bible actually say? Sure. The people handing them out looked like just the most unhappy robotic people I've ever seen. Oh, like, no. The, it was weird because they looked like wax sculptures where their body doesn't move at all, but only like their neck moves a little bit to like move their head. Wait, I've seen these people. Yeah, it was really bizarre. Bible like, robots. All, like, you know, I was with my team and we were walking past and <laughs> one of my coworkers is like, Anyone else kind of weirded out by, like, the way that those people were moving? <laughs> like, <laughs> Why is this pamphlet written in binary? <laughs> Have you heard the good word? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello, world. <laughs> Wait, I've seen those people. They're the ones yeah. that make the little kiosk? Yep. Yeah. I mean, I kind of appreciate their approach just because they're not, they're not yeah. like, proselytizing super hardcore. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, but it's also, like, yeah, I know what you mean. Man, anyone doing any kind of, like, pamphlet distribution pamphlet distribution out there on the streets mm -hmm. god that's gotta be fucking hard yeah it's it's the worst because people actively try not to interact with you yeah and like that must be pretty demoralizing or alternatively they actively try to interact with you oh, negatively. oh yeah yeah so like the number so whenever i see one of them i'm just like no thank you but good luck out here yeah that's fucking hard exactly yeah actually i take the exact same approach because like yeah. mormons yeah. They're really nice. They are very nice. They're very nice people. It's true. And they totally respect you if you're just like, yeah, if you yeah, say no, like, thanks. no thanks. And they'll be like, okay, great. Have a good day. It's true. I'm just like, <laughs> oh, man. Can I tell you something terrible I did one time? Uh-oh. I, this is, oh, man. I was, uh, I was just walking, walking along our campus, Red Square, and one of the Mormon people said, like, you know, hey, can I talk to you? And I just screamed, hail Satan, bye! And I dashed off. <laughs> I was like, oh, I'm so edgy. But looking God. back on it now, I'm like, man, yeah. that person was probably just like either like really confused or just kind of like disappointed in me. Yeah. I, like, I was like, oh, I bet I really upset them. Like, no, I, no. Yeah. No. <laughs> just because you're out there like handing out pamphlets doesn't mean that you're like, well, except for these robots people that you're talking <laughs> about. Doesn't mean you're not human. <laughs> Oh, yeah. man. I mean, I, I took my approach just because like when I was in high school, I had a lot of Mormon friends. Yeah. So. Whenever I see them, I always think of my friends, and I'm like, these could totally be people that I, like, hung out with. Yeah. And I don't want to, I wouldn't do that to them. Like, yeah, exactly. Well, I mean, that's sort of, like, the lesson that you learn growing up, right? It's like, yeah, you, yeah. You, as you start to widen your social group, you start to realize that everyone is someone that you could know. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, it's just a nice, uplifting conversation. <laughs> it's a good message. It's uplifting, I'd say. Um... Anyway, let's anyway, see. Where are we going, going next? next? It, said, it said something about flames. <laughs> something about flames. So volcano, probably. <laughs> Throw the pamphlets in the flames. <laughs> what was that I was saying about Hail Satan? <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. Oh, anyway. Right. That's right. Welcome to Devil Worshipper Simulator. <laughs> I'm the devil. Um, shit, we were talking about something before the pamphlets. That's uh, probably just Michael Keaton again. <laughs> Who's <laughs> like my new hero, I guess. Anyway, have I told you about my RuneScape face? <laughs> have you heard the good word about Michael Keaton? <laughs> welcome, uh, let's see. welcome to Cool 20, hashtag recessive jokes. <laughs> oh, man. At least we have this beautiful land. Just You guys just don't listen to us. Just watch this beautiful landscape. Yeah, past. in beautiful 480p. <laughs> <laughs> I really wish, like, 
I don't have a PS3. I wish we could have played the... Um, oh, the, like the, the, the 1080p Mix. version? Although, I might, like... <sighs> okay, so the studio that's making this game mm -hmm. is finally making... Actually, you know what? I'm going to hold off on telling you about this. Because okay. it's sort of spoilers. Okay. But I'm just going to tell you all watching this. Um, hashtag Last Guardian coming soon. Hmm. That's pretty rad. That's been in development for a decade. I'll just say it's... It's the been in development for a decade? Well, this game was 2008, right? Okay. 2006? 2006, 2008? I forget exactly. Okay. Um, it's been in development since this. It's the next game that this studio has made. Is it in, in this world? Um... That is an interesting question. That is a complicated question that requires some serious analysis. Also, okay. the game's not out yet, so I can't really say. It comes out in December, though. Okay. It's it's one of those games that's sort of legendary for being in production hell for so long. Oh, yeah. But, so, that, that always makes me a little bit nervous, because... Well... Especially in, like, tech. I mean, if you're developing something that started out with uh, what was, like, the expectation in 2006... Yeah. It's kind of hard to migrate the project through a decade oh, of technological technology. advances. I know. I know. Like... It can like it can happen though. I mean, you have two. There's two sides of it, right? On the one hand, you have your Duke Nukem Forever, <laughs> which I have not played and feel no need to play. But on the other hand, you have your Kingdom Hearts twos, Kingdom Hearts twos, which was in production for not nearly as long, but quite a while. Um, and then upon release, uh, was fucking baller as hell, and it's <laughs> one of the best games. Um, I actually need to, I should check my numbers on that. I don't really know how long it was in production. I may be confusing it with the as yet unreleased Kingdom Hearts 3. <laughs> Hashtag Kingdom Hearts 3 is still waiting. That game has taken a damn long time to come out, dude. Yeah, I, I have never played any of the Kingdom Hearts games. I know, we actually. talked about this before. I'd be cool if we could play it on this channel. Yeah. They take goddamn forever, though. Oh, jeez. Yeah. We gotta go underground. Yeah. Although, I guess I, I, like, I know how to do everything in it, so. How do and, we get. Um. Hmm. Okay, well, I'll just jump up here. You could probably survive it. You think so? Yeah, sure. Shall we find out? Let's find out! It's the circle of La life! Oh, no, you can't! I'm oh, good. You're totally fine. We're good. Oh, my God. I got a little tangle in my dangle from that. <laughs> oh, you know what I mean. <laughs> Dude, don't you just hit it when your dangle gets all tangled? Uh, oh, no! <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> oh, God! Ugh. Oh. Hashtag prehens. Oh, never mind. <laughs> well, I was gonna talk about tapirs. You know, they got the. Do you know about tapir dicks? Uh, no. Do you know what tapirs are? Uh, no. They're a mammal, four-legged mammal, kind of a sort of like they're like a really big anteater, sort of what they're they're like. Okay. Um, and they're very unique in that they have pre prehensile peni. Prehensile peni. Yes. Their dicks can like grab shit. Oh. They got big, long, floppy oh. dongs, and they can totally just like. Grab are are we talking stuff. like like one of the you know those like those plumbing utensils that have like claws in the end for like getting, oh god getting things <laughs> oh, out of the no. drain because that's kind of what I'm picturing no no right no no, now. no it's more like a ropey tentacle mm. it's basically Excellent. I mean as a as a professional weave I know much about these things <laughs> um, actually true it's actually pretty incredible though I've seen videos of them like just like grabbing sticks and tossing them around oh that's where I was supposed to go down oh. <laughs> well, okay, so I'm actually have to proc something. I'm still like a little lost where to go though. Okay. Unless I go in the water. Um, give it a shot. Let's just run in there for a second. Because we haven't been here before. Yeah. Well, you can swim, like. Yeah. Uh, this doesn't look right. Let me just swim over. God, this is like my my worst fear though. I know. One of my fears Dark in real water. life, especially just since we're in a universe that's confirmed pitch. to have giant, yeah. like, disgusting. You just know something's down there. Maybe you run across this place. Mm. Well, we'll we'll do a little exploring. We'll we'll get going in the right direction, um, to the to the the next colossi, the clue for which I have already forgotten. Uh, flames. Something about flames. Yeah, oh yeah, the, he's the keeper of the flames. Which, if this is the one I'm thinking of, uh, should be in some kind of structure. Okay. It, maybe okay. it's this other way. Anyway, okay. I guess anyway, we'll find out in the we'll next get episode. We'll find out next episode, and remember, I may talk a lot about Michael Keaton, but to us, no one's Michael beaten you guys. <laughs> Yay! Bye-bye. <laughs>